Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and welcome to my tutorial on Hex. In this tutorial I will explain to you how the interface works and how should you go about solving the different nodes. Now this tutorial is going to be split into multiple parts. In this first part I will explain to you how the interface works and how you should play the game overall. And then I will have separate videos on the different nodes. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when that comes out. Now, if you already know a lot of stuff, you can check out the timestamps below. We're going to be talking about the solo version. So let's begin. When you start in a new map, you start on this sort of control interface. And here you can type your commands. Then you can click tab to switch to a different screen where you're going to see different nodes. So this is the main node that you're trying to unlock. And these are the nodes that you need to bypass in order to get them. Up on top, the number of these yellow circles determines how many times you can fail at bypassing an error. So every time you try to bypass an error, you either succeed or you fail. And if you, this is telling you that even if you fail one, you could still unlock this main node. But if you were to fail two, then you obviously couldn't. So this is telling you like how many times you can fail. On the bottom here, you can see the timer. If you run out of time, you failed the mission. Control commands. So now we're going to talk about the commands that you can do. So you start, can start off by typing list. This will tell you the list of available command. Every time you begin a new mission, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your notes. In this case, because we're doing the first mission, we have the injection and the force. Sometimes in the description of the mission, it will already tell you what kind of nodes they are going to get. So you do not need to do this anymore. You do not need to check. Next thing you'll want to do is you want to install the apps to the appropriate nodes. Here you can click on all of them at once. You do not need to click it multiple times. So in this particular scenario, we have force and injection nodes. So you just click on them and click done. Then when you want to start working on a node, for example, on this node, this is called a force node. You will have to first unlock the node. So you're going to say unlock force, and then you will run the associated application, which in this case is going to be the force. You can type either run force or alternatively you could type run force.exe. Both of this will run the application. What's important is when you unlock a node, you cannot type unlock force.exe, you just say unlock force, but with the run, you have two different options. Now, once you run a node, you will, now once you open a certain application, it will open over here and you can do whatever the application allows you to do. We'll talk more about it later when we talk about specific nodes. When you are done, unlocking all the nodes, you will start a transfer. We'll talk more about it in the later part of the tutorial. You can also type CLS to clear the console. And um, now what happens if you unlocked all the nodes? Well, you can begin a transfer. The way to do that is that you jump to your control screen and you'll write start transfer. And you're going to get these three type, types. Now, what's important is this threshold. You cannot go over it. If you go over it, you lose. And now you're going to click here on the sort of keynote and you're going to begin a transfer. And you're going to be moving money from that uh, bank into your own account. Now, at some point, some of these are going to be highlighted to red. In that case, you have to stop the transfer. And then when it stops being red, you can turn it on again. Otherwise, well, the pipe will break. Okay. So I will show you in a moment what happens. Let me show that to you now. You can see this pipe is red. I'm not stopping it. You get this sound. And then if you see here, it's going to get broken. So you cannot turn it on again here. You do not have this option. Now, like I said, it's really important that you do not go over the threshold. What's also important is that you do not run out of time. If you run out of time, you will lose. Even if you transfer some money, it will be considered a loss. So you really got to make sure that you do not run out of time and that you stop in time. All right. So at this point, I might decide, you know what? I've got enough. I'm just going to go and I'm going to click here. I've got 29,000 on stop. And this is going to be a successful 
mission and you finish the mission successfully so you're gonna see the results over here all right so that's it for this part of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when the video for the for the next part comes out see you there bye bye